When you're kicking off your retail line, it's exciting to see the product in the stores. And often some mistakes that starting entrepreneurs have when getting the product in the stores, getting it started, is to focus on their branding. Your branding is not gonna be what's important. It's not gonna be what moves the needle right now. Focusing on the product is great because you're gonna want those reorders, uh, people coming back in and repurchasing. But you really want to focus on the packaging. The packaging is what's going to move the product off the counter in the first place. So the reason why 5-Hour Energy was so successful is because they were able to take that real estate right next to the checkout counter, right next to the register, where it was an impulse purchase, right? Everybody's focused on that impulse purchase. And the way that you stay there for the long term is to have that packaging on point. So you want to make sure that when you have where your product is going to be sold in the stores, if you're selling a large device, if you're selling a large unit, make sure to have a shipper available. Make sure to be able to bring it in on a pallet, have it in the middle of the store with some signage that explains the product, have it easily in, out, movable. You want to have that ease built into the product packaging. On the other side, if you have something smaller, you need to stand out. So we had a product that um, was really good. It was uh, covering bottles, uh, covering cans. So if you were at the beach and you didn't want to fly in your soda or your beer, you needed a little cover for it. This is what it sold. It was a super convenient product sold for a dollar for a two pack. We put it on a suction cup and then put it in the cooler facing out so in the cooler with the suction cup it had a little um display on the top a little three by five card that said what the product does not said but it showed what the product does and then it had a hang uh, clip that people were able to pull and it said a dollar on it took the mystery away you saw what the product does you saw the price easy and it's right where you're buying your soda so we know that the demographic is right we know that the intent is there. So it's a really good impulse item. So you need to kind of figure out how to display the product's use through the packaging best you can, and then have that product sit in the right spot in the store while giving the store flexibility. One of the problems that we see usually with earlier stage products, sometimes with larger products, is that they want to take up a lot of floor space. Floor space is incredibly important and it's inconvenient for the stores because they have to clean around it, they have to move it all the time, people trip into it. You want to be able to give options. So in addition to your floor shipper, you want to be able to put it on the shelf. You want to know the shelf heights uh, that you're going after, where that goes, and have different options for that, as well as the width. You don't want to take up too much room on the wide side if you can fit them narrow and deep. So to go into the stores that you're going to want to be in, you want to go in with a measuring tape. Get those measurements on the front end so that when you go to your graphic designer or you go to your manufacturer for uh, creating the displays, you're gonna have that all in line with this is where I want it to go. This is where I want it to fit. And I want these different options. So if they wanna hang it on a hang tag from the ceiling, they're able to do that, but they're also able to put it on the floor. And if it doesn't fit on the floor, they can put it by the counter. And if it doesn't fit on the counter, then they can put it on a hang tag in the uh, cooler. So having that versatility is gonna allow you to get the accounts that normally would say no. Because if you're a buyer for a store and you have somebody in there pitching to you, but you already have a full um, shelf and you're gonna have to displace one of the units to put something new in that is an untested um, quantity, you know, you're going to want that versatility. You're going to want that alternative. And that'll give you a better shot at getting the yes or getting the test rather than just getting a flat out no and a rejection. So having that option on the front end is what you want to start with before you start building your brand. Because when you go into this, the brand is going to carry if it gets sales, right? So you want to figure out on the sales end how to get the product to move out of the store 
because people aren't going to get see it in the real world. They're not going to see people sitting there with the can on their desk and establish that connection to the brand until the purchase is made from the store and then brought into that environment. So having that done on the front end will allow you to build a strong brand on the back end. Start with the packaging first.